What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Friends Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown of Scott Skyner Report on Brodrick Jones. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it as we have other draft profiles and Skyner Report on the playlist with the 2023 Skyner Report playlist where I give you a pros and cons, uh, team fits, pro comparison, and then wrap it up with a draft projection. Um, Starting with the background, he's 6'4", 315-pound redshirt sophomore offensive tackle from Georgia. Stats for him, he's had 805 snaps of 2022 season. Pro football focus season grade for him is 78.5, which is 34th in all of college football. Awards for him, he was a five-star and was freshman All-SEC in 2021. Strength and weaknesses for Jones. My favorite part about him, he has a great lineman build. He's solid, has even body weight distribution, carrying his weight across his frame very well. He looks lengthy at 6'4 as well and looks like an NFL vet already. He has great movement skills to match his build. He's agile with great footwork. He can stay with pass rushers uh, and is down the field blocking linebackers on run plays. Jones has a strong grip to latch onto his opponent as well. He uses his explosiveness, his explosiveness into power and can take defensive players completely out of place. Weaknesses for him though, technique is definitely lacking when you watch him, but you know, he's a retro sophomore after only two seasons of playing, it's kind of hard to judge someone uh, on this and to say that he can't really improve on it, but his hand placement can be late and you know, sometimes in a running game, uh, he struggles to turn his defenders. Pro comparison, I'm going to have to go with Christian Darisau, who showed a huge improvement this season. They're similar size, athletic, agile tackles with a lot of upside. Darisau has a 90 pro football focus rating and has only allowed two sacks a season. Darisau will definitely be a star in the NFL over time. I can see Jones in the same type of light with... Not coming in as a star, but later on progressing, especially with his size and his athletic ability. Team fits, I'm going to have to go with the Jets. With Vera Tucker and Becton, you know, injured all season, they pretty much have had a veteran offensive line. Um, with Becton and Vera Tucker back next year, they could really reform like a very young offensive line with like a late first round steal in Broderick Jones if he does not become uh, the number one tackle. So then you got, you know, Becton, Jones, Vera Tucker, and then you can fill in the other spots with, you know, Connor McGovern, different type of young, talented guys. Um, but this offensive line could be very good for the future of the Jets offense. Draft projection, I'm going to have to go a mid first round. Not a lot of contenders want developmental tackles, so I see if he doesn't go mid first round or early first round he's definitely going to slip into the second round uh but young teams love young future tackle stars like Brojic Jones who have the um build to be an NFL tackle and the athleticism um but I can't rank him in my tackle list if I'm being honest it's not the best tackle list either uh the tackle uh, class that we've ever seen uh, you know, you got Peter Skaronski. He's very talented. I think he's the most NFL ready as a tackle. Could probably come in like a Rashawn Slater. But he does lack size and length. Um, and then you got uh, Paris Johnson and Jalen Duncan, who have great physical tools and traits, but they are more like boom or bust type of talented players. And um, they can come in and not be as great as a lot of people predict. So it's all going to come down to offseason. Hopefully we can see Brojic Jones in the combine and see how great he is, but this tackle class is up in the air right now. If that's all, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, but we greatly appreciate it. Peace.